My name is Alan Hart and today we're going to look at the Salus Smart Home. So we're going to unbox all this and then we're going to set it all up and we're going to see how it all works. So first of all here we've got a Smart Hub. So this is a Salus UG600 Smart Hub. So we're going to open it up here, we're going to see what it's uh, like inside. If you take a note of that website there, um, you might need that when you want to have a look at the instructions. So it's got a level on the back there, so that when you uh, screw it to the wall, you can level it up. It's also got an internet connection at the back of there, and it's also got the plug socket connection. So we've just got this hardware box here. So we've got this plug and his leads. There's also a, an internet connection wire in here. So you better connect it to internet. So the plug has a USB style connection. So that's just your ethernet cable. So you can connect that to internet. And then here we've just got this power lead. So now we're going to go connect all this to the internet and we're going to download the app and then we're going to see how straightforward it is for it all to be set up. So we've plugged this in now. So we've plugged the wire into the back of the router. Oh, there's number two connection there, if you can see. And then the power supply was connected to the mains. So we've plugged it in now and it's going through a sequence. So it started to be red and then green and then blue. So now we're going to download the app and then we're going to start connecting different um, features to the hub. So I've got an Apple device so we're going on to the App Store, download Salus Smart Home and then we get to the menu here and we just set up an account. So all this bit here is just straightforward, just put all your details in. So now we've downloaded this app, we just go to a smart hub, we click onto a smart hub and it starts to flash and then we go back to our app and we just click search for gateway and it will find that and put all the details in there for you. So first of all we're going to connect our TRV head, so this is the TRV10 RFM. So it does come with a quick fire guide here that you can look at. So let's take it out of the box. So we've got a TRV head there. We've got some batteries and then we've got an adapter so that you can fit it to different styles of radiator valves. So you should be able to use this adapter to enable you to fit it to most style TRVs. So we've just got the battery slot there. So that once you've put this TRV on, you better put your batteries in. So you just take this off here, and you, that's where your batteries go. So it's obvious which way around your batteries go. So we've got an old Mycin TRV radiator valve here. So I'm going to turn it on to full. That just takes a bit of pressure off the pin, and makes it just a little bit easier for you to get your spanner on, and to be able to undo it. So just unslackened it a bit there, and just easily just take the head off. So we've got a new Salus head now that we're going to put on top and then we just tighten that nut back up on there. So it's very, very easy to connect onto there. And then just nip it up with the spanner. So now we're going to open the thermostat and then we're going to connect the thermostat to the TRV head. So it comes with four batteries, it also comes with a fixing kit, so you can fix it to the wall. And then you've got your thermostat. So when you look at your thermostat, it looks okay, It's it looks quite nice. So if we take back off there, we can see where batteries go. So the your four batteries will go in there. So we'll just put batteries in the back of this now. So we'll just clip this on. And then for now we're just going to pair it to unit and we're going to pair it to valve. So we'll just click on the button here and it just says join. 
and then now we're going to pair it to a zap and then that'll connect it to the TRV on the radiator. So with the app now we just click add new equipment. So now we just scan for equipment. And then we go, we found the thermostat, click on the thermostat, connect the equipment. And then we can just name that thermostat where we want that thermostat to be. And then we just click next. So now when we go back into the app, onto the home screen, we can see there now that we've got office thermostat. And we can just turn that up and down. And then when we turn it up here, if we have a look on the thermostat, if you look on the top left hand corner there, you just see the flame come on. So now that's going to make our room warm. So now we've also got a smart plug. And we've also got our door sensor. So we're going to connect them now to the hub. Um, so I'll show you, I'll unbox it. Uh, we'll start with smart plug. We'll unbox that. So just for demonstrations for video. So all we want to do there. Plug that in. So we'll go add new equipment. So again, we'll scan for equipment. So there you go, it's found that smart plug. I've not even pressed that smart plug, not done anything with it. Click on there. Connect equipment. Success. I've got to say I'm very impressed with that. That was very, very easy. So on your app now, the smart plug is just there. So if I click that on, That shows you there, the smart plug is on, on the app. This is actually brilliant. Now I've got to say, I really like that. That is brilliant. If you had quite a few of these scattered all over your house, you could control your lamps, your lights, um, TV, whatever you want. So now we've got a door sensor, you can also have this as a window sensor. comes with a little user guide so you can connect it to your smart hub so the tab on this for the batteries is actually a clear one it's obviously orange on the previous picture so you just pull that out and then connect this to the wall and then connect it up. For the purpose of this video we've just stuck these on just for now just so we can show you how it all works. You can see it's flashing there.
So if you see there now on the right hand side at the bottom, it says office door. So the office door is now closed. I've just opened it now, so now it's gone orange. So I'll just close it again now. There you go. And office door, it's gone green. So we know that the door's shut. So that's your Salas Smart Home there then guys. Um, hope that's been of some use to you. So my first impressions of all this is it's very good. Time will tell. So we'll test it, we'll trial it for a while. And I'll come back and I'll do another video. And we'll see how we've got on with it. But first impressions, very very good. The plug sockets... Um, I really like the plug sockets, they're very good. Thanks for watching, thanks for taking time to watch this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you have any questions, please add them in the comments below. And if you can, if you can give us a like, that'd be great. Thank you for watching.